So guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Stratton Top Farm, episode 617. Um, so yeah, starting off the farm, we have our 135 here, which is in the main dumpster farm. See, see we have all our bales in here, straw bales um, and square bales as well. Uh, we uh, moved the 135 out of the, one of the lower line sheds, because the lower line shed is now filled up with uh, equipment. So uh, yeah, that's why she's there, with our car trailer. Massive ergs and seed drills down the back there as well. It's a bit big for the 135, but uh, yeah, we'll soon have that out um, to be sowing a few winter crops. We have uh, the 2100 here. She is on the dye feeder again. Still on the dye feeder. Um, we're just about to open the silage pit. Uh, we're starting to take off the tires with the JCB load all. Marshall 100 tractor is just there in the shed. Sitting in that shed, we moved all the bales out of there into the Dutch barn. So, yeah, in here the main Dutch barn, pretty empty except for the old Massey sitting in there. There's a lot going on today, so that's why well, some of the sheds are empty. So here we have the Land Rover with the Eiffel William trailer. Uh, we have a few cows. We've the cows uh, pinned in here for the minute, um, as we're cleaning out their their shed. We have the old but we have an, our bull and an, and a heifer in there. So hopefully he'll do the deed for us there. So, here in the main workshop, we just fitted on a new weight to the front of the 5612. We're going to paint it grey, the same colour, grey as uh, in grey in Massey Ferguson colours. So, uh, yeah, nice new addition. Outside, we have the Leyland 4A2 Secro, and uh, we've gotten delivery of our new Fleming Muck Spreader. Looks really, really well. We're very, very happy with it. It's the cleanest it's going to be. Um, then we're going to start using it now alongside the other Muck Spreader. Um, Weather this week has been okay. We had some really hard rain last night, so we had to bring in all our, most of the cows. Um, but now we're just going to clean out the sheds. We're going to keep them in. Uh, that's why we're opening the silage clamp, so we can begin feeding them um, the winter fodder. This side of the farm and this uh, slatted shed, as you can see, there's a few cows here that are waiting to be fed with the silage. Uh, we have our 465 nut field here. She's on the scraper. Uh, keeping, the, keeping the yard clean uh, because these are our dairy cows so they'd be going out twice a day and once once they are being milked uh, the 465 comes in and gives it a clean keeps the slats clean over here we have our Ford, Ford's 1474 uh, county uh, she uses as a grey uh, trailer of uh, sawdust um, tripping the bit of sawdust uh, we got it off a uh, local uh, timber yard they they we sell on our a few of our trees to them and uh, they cut the timber off it and in return we do get sawdust uh, as well as payment and some of the silage left in here from where the cows um so we're just going to be tipping some sawdust into that bay we just have them here uh, the farmers just waiting there to make sure that none of them try and jump the barriers um because they're they can be a bit wild sometimes so, we're here at the other farm. We have our 6616 uh, Massey Ferguson loader tractor. Uh, we've just moved over the barriers um, so we can actually get a tractor in. So we just um, are there dropping off a bit of sawdust. Um, so we just tips at the back there. It is a slatted shed, but just at the back it isn't. So so there's something for to, the cows to be bed down in. And we're then going to give them straw after that. Down below there, you can see there's a cow and calf. They're happy, happy out. That was only that calf was only born this this day week, so uh, yeah, she's doing very well. Cow and calf, a new replacement heifer, so uh, yeah, happy days. The main machinery shed we have our baler, sprayer, track marshal, the baler with the silage grab or silage harvester, sorry, and the plow. So yeah, it's getting very well. So we just had to open in the clamp. It looks to be very very good silage. Uh, it's good smell on it. Uh, we're going to get it uh, tested, see what DMD, DMD it was. Uh, it was cut and uh, it was very dry weather, so uh, hopefully it'll be good, have a good feed value. The cows would be delighted with that. It was good fermentation anyway. So yeah, we're going to just make it uh, our first mixed ration of the year and then give it to the cows. And uh, yeah, we'll do a few more bits and pieces around the farm. So yeah, it's looking very well. It's just mixing pretty good too. Gonna put a few additives in it as well. Give it, keep it, keep it good. So 
So as you can see, they're very happy to have their sawdust in and then also the new silage. So they're happy out. This is our beef herd. So we just parked the 2100 in the sludge in, in the side shed there, along with the dive feeder. Um, we have our 5612 here, our front, new front weight. Uh, we're just going to hook up this old trailer. Uh, this old trailer, it's been on the farm for a good while. Uh, we're not getting rid of it. We're just actually going to bring it off to a, a machine or an uh, engineering firm. The Eifer William trailer is good, but we might we would like one that you could fit on the back of a tractor. So we've kind of went ahead and said this trailer would be ideal for it. It has a very good strong chassis and uh, we can uh, we can machine it so it can be used for that sort of thing. So yeah, hopefully in the coming weeks or maybe our cattle trailer. So yeah. So we're just parked, parking in the GCB and we're, our phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, it's Tom. How are you getting on, Tom? You're stuck. Whereabouts? All right, I'll do, I'll do that right away. Fair enough. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Good luck. So yeah, that was just Tom. Um, he got stuck with his thirty fifty John there. Uh, I'm just gonna go down there, one of our tractors uh, with a chain, and we'll pull him out. Uh, we'll we bring down the Marshall one hundred, put the chain on the back, and we we'll head over to his farm. So yeah. So we're at the arriving at Tom's farm. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go down the fields. And uh, see where he's at. So yeah. So after finding Tom, uh, he has his thirty fifty here. We're just gonna hook hook her on, hook on the chain, and uh, we'll pull him back up to his yard. So so we've uh, managed to pull him up with the thirty fifty, the marshal. She's done very well. Well, uh, we had to just keep going when when we did because it's wolf wet. He, he he was nearly at the bottom of a hill, and that's why. It's really soft, and especially in, in certain parts of the fields, especially when it's in a, a low point where all the water just gathers. But uh, we got her out, um, and I will just pull him into the yard. So, Tom, how did you get on? Oh, not too bad. Thanks very much, Philip. Um, oh, I see the weights are looking very well on the front of your tractor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put the fitted one the other day. Um, I, did, I mean to take them off, but... When so I found well, this trailer, I decided to bring it back up the to the yard, to but it wasn't as easy as that. Take them off again, by hand anyway. So I just left them on. I thought I'd be okay, but they didn't do much help, especially with the front wheels. And uh, once I found when I was once down, I was fine when I was driving on my own, but. Rusty, it's missing his tailgate and front. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be fair now. Um, I'm probably going to scrap it or either sell it on, maybe. Well, I was actually very looking looking for... for I might actually buy it. That's no bother. Uh, yeah. Give me about 200 quid for it. 200 quid? Well, it does tip. Look, I tried it down the fields. Oh, it does and all. And the wheels don't look too bad either. So where is it just sit, sitting in the back of a few hedges? Yeah, believe it or not. I don't know what make it is, but I probably, if you'd done a bit of working on it, you'd probably find out the brand very, very quickly. So, we done the deal. Um, Tom's just after going back inside. He's just about to park his 3050 back in the shed. So yeah, we're to get buying ourselves a new trailer. Very, very happy with this. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, bring her back to the yard. Oh, Tom is coming out here now. Good luck, Phil, and uh, if you want, maybe you can go down the fields again, and you could maybe find a few more parts, maybe. There's a lot of old overgrown stuff down there, so you wouldn't know what you might find. You might find the old tail bore first, and stuff like that. That's actually really sound of you. Thanks, thanks very much, Tom. I will have a go and look down there, but maybe during the week or so. Oh, it's nearly Halloween and all. Like the good scary films and all that sort of stuff. Uh, good luck, Phil. Have to make the tea. Right, good luck, Tom. So that was the sound of them. We're just after hooking on our trailer. Um, yeah, not bad for about two hundred quid. At least the tips and all, and it does look a bit more solid. I bet with a bit of paint, it looked really well. Just dropped the trailer off. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Stratton Top Farm. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. 
also guys i'm planning on doing uh, if you would like a halloween special of stratton top farm so it will include uh two stories um a bit of four four irish folklore um stories i've heard from different people and uh, i'm just going to in interpret them into the story and if you like that sort of thing uh sure to let me know and uh, i'll happily do it for you um also i hope you like like the bit of seg segment with tom if you like that sort of thing i can i'll keep that going and uh, bear with me with the voices i'm not that very good when it comes to um doing impressions and stuff like that but uh i'll do the best i can and uh yeah Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.